it's V from Casually Fragrant. So changing it up a bit today, I'm going to be giving you a review on some samples from Centrique. I actually got this idea from YouTuber NDO355. Thank you so much for suggesting I do a wish list video. And I thought I would kind of combine my wish list with some of these samples that I got from Centrique. So um, I and please let me know down below if there's any other videos you want me to do. I'm always up for hearing new suggestions. I have a running list. If you've suggested one before, it's probably on my list and I apologize I haven't gotten it to it yet. So I really recommend getting a sample pack whenever you're purchasing niche fragrances. Some of these can be quite expensive in cost and it's something I find that some scents I didn't think I would like, and when I got the sample, I wore it a couple times. I'm like, I love it. I absolutely need to have it in my collection. You know, you might want to be considerate to your partner to see if they like the scent as well. Maybe not, <laughs> depends. Um, but I always find I like to have my husband smell the fragrances, especially if it's a really expensive fragrance. I don't want him to absolutely hate it or get a headache. So I always recommend going with the sample route. Most of my niche fragrances I have purchased have been from testing the sample first and really kind of thinking about whether I need it or more likely want it. But there's been very few blind buys in my collection for anything that's actually pricey, pricier than your, you know, regular designer sense. So from Centric here, as you can see, I have a bit of a problem and this isn't even all of them. I've been finding samples in embarrassing, like everywhere, everywhere I go, I have these all around the house. They come in these tiny little containers and I just, I have a problem. <laughs> Way too many they, uh, samples and they come really well packaged. I ordered mine um, online most of the time. Sometimes I get it in person for COVID. I've been doing a lot of the online stuff and they come with these little testing strips as well, which is really cool. And so I kind of put together, I, I can't go through all of them. I'd be here forever. <laughs> and so I kind of put together some that I wanted to review for you guys. And so I thought that I would just go over some of these and these include some that are on my current wish list as well so let's just dump them all out here <laughs> okay there's a lot these aren't all on my wish list that would be pretty bad that would be bad um so let's just grab one and go so here is a lab on fire liquid night uh, i love a lab on fire i have a couple of their scents in the full size this was an incense, vanilla, hinoki wood, and lavender scent. Yeah, I'm cheating. I do have notes off the screen. <laughs> I can't memorize all this. Or if I can, I mean, it just would take too long to film these videos. I would need like a month to prepare for one of them. So I thought for this video, I was actually going to spray them um, off air as uh, some of these I can talk about, I remember. But this one for one, I don't. So, Liquid Night. I definitely get an in incensey, vanilla, woodsy note. It's very pleasant. I think if you like incense, definitely give this one a try. I really like a Lab on Fire scents, but this is not going to be one that I'm going to be purchasing for myself. It's really nice, but I feel... It doesn't have that much sweetness. It does have the lavender in it. I think this would be a great unisex scent. I, I think, I believe they all are anyways, but this one really with that lavender, a great unisex scent, just not one that I will be getting um, for myself. So, oh, another a lab on fire. I swear there's more than just a lab on fire. This is what we do in Paris is secret. This is a very popular fragrance. It's a cult favorite for a lot of fragrance lovers. And yeah, it's gorgeous. I just smelt it again. Um, as you can see, I don't have much of the sample left. I've already worn it. All of these that like they do come filled. If they're low, it means I've been wearing it. <laughs> um, so what we do in Paris is secret is a helotrope honey vanilla tonka lychee fragrance. Like I said, very popular, majority love it, very easy blind buy in my point of view is this one, what we do in Paris is secret, very easy blind buy. And I think one day I'm probably gonna try to get this one. So I'm gonna put this over on this side as my starting of my wish list. 
So we have, let's not do another, oh, we have here, they actually, Centrique now has um, Amouage and Zerjoff fragrances. I love Zerjoff fragrances. One of my favorite all time fragrances by this brand is Lyra, which is just a beautiful caramel spicy vanilla. Um, so I'm really excited to be trying all these other ones. Just gonna spray it. My room here is gonna be very fragrant. <laughs> and yeah, love, love, love this fragrance. Okay, so for this one, Iris by Zerjoff, the notes include um, bergamot, carrot seeds, and carnation. Mild notes of iris, rose, jasmine, alang alang, and violet, and base notes of vetiver, cedar, benzoin, musk, and incense. I really get the violet and iris. That's probably why I love it. And I mean, I should have known with the name iris that it would have iris in it. But I love purple florals. They're like one of my favorite probably my only favorite floral. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of all florals, but I love Helotrope, Iris. Um, I do like lavender too, violets, all that. I absolutely love it. So this is a stunning fragrance. Let me smell it. Slightly powdery, very beautiful. If you are a violet fragrance lover, you've got to check this one out. Definitely it's going here. Uh oh, I need to put more over on that side now. I can't have all of them going here. Um, oh, Super Lady by Pierre Goloam. Am I saying that correctly? Super Lady, I own this fragrance. Um, that's why it's completely empty. Do you see? Like, the one thing that sh or shows me that I know I need, a fr like, the sample is when I basically use it all. Let's see if it focuses there. So, Super Lady is a beautiful fragrance. I'll link down below my review of this fragrance if you're interested, but it's got red apple, magnolia, raspberry, amber, green notes, blackberry, and it's just a beautiful fruity floral gourmand. Great blind buy, and I think it would be a great gift. Like, give your mom a fragrance called Super Lady on Mother's Day. Give your girlfriend a fragrance called Super Lady at Christmas. I just think it's a beautiful fragrance, great gift idea, super easy blind buy, just an overall great fragrance. I already own this one. I, sh I should put that in a different category, the ones I already own. This is going to be embarrassing if that category starts to grow more. Um, here we have, okay, let's do, oh, another Zerjoff. This is Join the Club. It's part of the club series where everything is from either like a jazz club, a I think like a horse club or something, yacht club, and so each one's kind of inspired by a different club. Club. This is kind of blue, and this is inspired by the jazz club scene. Um, I don't think I wrote down the notes for this one. Okay, so kind of blue notes include frankincense, rose, lily of the valley, middle notes of orris, jasmine, myrrh, and base notes of musk, cedarwood, sandalwood, ambergris, and civet. I, when I heard the notes, I was like, I'm not going to like this scent, but I kind of do. It's going to smell it one more time. I haven't had a chance to really wear this one, but I really like it. I, I want to put it over here, but I feel like I'm going to put it like these are like for sure. And this one's like over here, like maybe, you know what I mean? <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's very nice though. And I didn't think I would like it because of all those notes, but I absolutely love it. Uh, next one, we have the Helioflora and this has rhubarb in it. And I've smelt this one. I've just spilt so much on my hand right now. This is not a love for me. It's too floral. I I thought I would like it because I thought it would be a helotrope I would really enjoy. But there's just something about this one. Yeah, it's it's not it's not sweet. It's just not doing it for me. Um, but if you like those, if you want a rhubarb scent, I I would try this one out. Then I have here, Isis by. Agonist. So, funny story, uh, most of my perfume videos that I post on YouTube, none of them really get flagged with anything. I mean, I don't swear in them. There's no, you know, nudity, obviously. <laughs> There's no violence. So, none of my videos get flagged, but I have a video of Isis, of Agonist, on my channel. And even though this is inspired by a goddess, I want to say a Greek goddess, please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, YouTube flagged it. So I guess Isis, that's, I wonder if this video is going to get flagged because I say that word. <laughs> um, I actually own this fragrance. Absolutely love it. And I will link my video down below of this one. Um, I actually liked it so much that I didn't even finish the sample. That also happens sometimes. 
it, it doesn't just mean that I completely, you know, use up the whole sample always. I basically ordered it right away. Like I smelt it and I was like, I need it. It is a super popular fragrance. It's unisex. I know at least two other people than myself who have purchased this fragrance from the uh, fragrant group that I'm a part of. So, you know, this is a great mass appealing fragrance. I actually think it would be a good blind buy. Honestly, it's got mostly loves on Fragrantica too, which is interesting. Like there's, it's mostly love. So I think this is just one of those scents that like everyone's loving. Um, it's got amber, caramel, peach, vanilla, citrus, and helotrope. Those notes, like mm, delicious smelling, beautiful, like gourmand style fragrance. Check out uh, my review on this one, but check out this sample if you can. I already own it, so I put it in the category over there. <laughs> and now we have Agonist White Lies. So this one here, oh yes, this is a white floral with jasmine, tuberose, with patchouli. Uh, even though it has vanilla and helotrope, raspberry and lychee, which I absolutely love, it just wasn't for me. I've sampled this. I like it. I will probably use the sample again a couple times. Maybe I'll start to love it again. But as of right now, I already have some other ones that I love. I, I purchased, basically, it was I purchased that Isis one instead of White Lies for myself from Agonis. So it really wasn't something that I would be putting on my wish list at this point. And here we have, oh, another one by Agonist, Onyx Pearl. Okay, let me just give it a quick sniff. Yes. So, Onyx Pearl is a oriental floral. It's got oud in it, helotrope, sandalwood, and musk. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of oud, but I really like it in Onyx Pearl. It's probably like... I cut it's it's one of those scents that I would be very happy wearing this I think it is a darker scent it would be great for nighttime unisex scent it's sexy it's got that oriental woodsy notes in it it's just absolutely stunning scent it's very long lasting as well but it's not a safe blind buy definitely get a sample of this one first I looked on Fragrantica and there are quite a few dislikes quite a few dislikes of Onyx Pearl. I was surprised. I thought it would be more popular, to be honest, but it's not, and there's quite a few dislikes. So if you want to try this one out, I would 100% try a um, try a uh, sample of it first before you do. So it's kind of for me, like I kind of want to expand in the oud that I'm, uh, you know, whatever. So I kind of want to put it over here. So it's not really like one of my top picks, but I still kind of, you know, want it. And so I didn't actually, there's by Shoba, there's Vintage. So we have Vintage by Chobad, uh, Chobad Maison de Parfum. It's an oriental floral. It's got mandarin orange and it's got middle notes, filang lang, jasmine tuberose and almond caramel honey as a base. I want to smell it. There's something about honey. I think I prefer vanilla to honey as the, you know, in, in fragrances. And there's something about this that I thought with the notes, like almond caramel, or it's the alang alang that's quite strong in here that just didn't make it a love for me. But it would, it is a gorgeous scent, but just not on my wish list at this time. But I think I might revisit it again, maybe next spring or summer. Um, I do love almond scents though. And if you love almond scents, I would definitely give Vintage a try. We have Sweet Dreams by a Lab on Fire. So this has, it's an oriental floral and it's got orange blossom and citrus. Unfortunately, I'm not even gonna spray this right now because I am not a fan of orange blossom. I actually, I hate orange blossom. I hate orange blossom and raisins, like raisins to eat, orange blossom to smell. I don't know why people in my family love orange blossom. Like my mom loves it. I, when I try that Joe Malone orange blossom scent, I like literally get nauseous. Like I, I don't know, like it's so strange and it's not other blossoms don't seem to bother me at all. So I'm not even going to spray this because I'd probably have to stop filming this video at this time. This is like way off. Like this belongs like over there, like never. <laughs> Sorry. If you love orange blossom though, check out Sweet Dreams. 
You might love it. Most people like orange blossom. I'm just really weird, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we have, okay, it is empty. Like, this is not, like, I actually own this one. Le et Chocolat by Chibot. It is basically milk chocolate, as you can see. Sample, completely empty. I should have thrown this out. I usually throw out my samples when I'm done with this, so, um... I probably should have thrown this one out. I didn't notice that it was fully empty. I've actually had two samples of this, and I finally bought it. Absolutely love it. If you want to smell like milk chocolate, warmed, sweet, decadent milk chocolate, Le et Chocolat. Absolute gorgeous fragrance. Then we have here a lab on fire, a uh, uh, hallucinogenic pearl. I think my camera battery just died or something. I don't know. I'll have to take a look to make sure I... <laughs> was actually filming, but a lap on a fire, hallucinogenic pearl. Okay, so this one here, it's a powdery, musky scent with violet, an oriental spicy floral. I don't get too much spice, to be honest, and I get very powdery. It's kind of a new take on violet, but not really. I love the name, the branding, and everything. I think it's very cool, but to be honest, I... I have so many violet fragrances and it's, it's a great one, but it's almost too powdery for me. So if you like powdery scents, definitely check out Hallucinogenic Pearl. But right now it's not on my wish list. Phew, my non-wish list is getting bigger than my wish list. <laughs> uh oh, here we have a Le et Biscuit. Once again, used up so much of it by Chabod. They do fantastic gourmand scents. If you like gourmand scents, try them out. I don't even know if I want to spray this, but I will. And this has biscuit, vanilla, and caramel. Yes, three notes. It's very linear. And it smells like caramel biscuits. Like it is, it's beautiful. I love gourmands. One day I will have to have this fragrance. Maybe, maybe here. I don't know. Yeah, around there. <laughs> and lastly, I saved this one for last because of the beautiful color, and I know which one this is. This is Amouage Blossom Love for Women. And the bottle's absolutely gorgeous. And this fragrance here will probably be my next purchase. <laughs> um, yes, I know I have a lot on my wish list, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get all of them right away. I have to space it out a little bit. Um, so Blossom Love, it has amaretto in it, cherry blossom. You see here, a blossom is totally fine for me. I don't, I don't understand why I don't like orange blossom. Anyways, this has amaretto, cherry blossom, and holotrope. It is gorgeous. I love it. I will be purchasing this soon. It goes, I guess, like if I were to do a true, oops, knew that was going to happen. <laughs> if a true representation of sort of what I'm buying, those are not this. Orange Blossom can just go off the screen because that's never happening. <laughs> I would wear no perfume rather than wearing um, Orange Blossom perfume. <laughs> but here it is, Blossom Love. This will probably be my next purchase. And then I have these ones here that I absolutely adore. And you know what? I have so many more Centriques that I would, samples that I would love to review for you guys. And I actually have a lot of other samples, not just from the store I get. You know, I purchase a lot of fragrances, so I have a lot of samples. I would love to do more of these sort of casual, you know, smelling sample videos. Let me know if you enjoy them down below, and I'll see if I can do some more. And uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know down below which are your favorites from these. Have you tried any of these? You know, some other people I know, they'd probably be like their wish list would literally be in the opposite order. It would go like this way. <laughs> or So let me know what your current wish list is. And if they're designer or niche, doesn't matter to me, celebrity. I just want to get more suggestions for videos that you guys are loving. Um, so yeah, that'd be great. So thank you so much for watching and until next time if you liked my video please help out a small youtuber and subscribe to my channel i appreciate it a lot thank you so much